Don't let what we think is better ruffle your feathers or pins are like assholes and assholes are like podcasts. Everybody, Everybody has one. From left to right, we got the Scrooge O Block in the Booty. building. We got Mr. Shoot the Fade, Big Yago in the building. We got LeBrain, James, Nino Green in the building. We got Black Jesus, Arco in the building. God bless and we got the returning straight shot, no chaser, Brandy Danielle in See? the building. And last but certainly not least, we got Chuck in the back with the facts one time for the queen. Hey. One time. Two time. Now I need you to make some noise for your motherfucking boys. Two time. Let's go, let's go. Hello there. Let's go, let's go. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Guess what we found out? Talk about it. What? Me and Chuck found out that you can cuss after 15 seconds now on YouTube videos. Oh, so, shit. <laughs> Don't cuss. So far, you bitch ass niggas, moment of silence for the motherfucking competition. Put your middle fingers up. All right, enough of that. We about to come in with um, Fuck you. O Block Fuck and Ace De Niro. I got the juice. Let's go. Remix the pack, press it back, flip the pack, get it gone strap. Juice like two pot, hate niggas get two shots. Hate and niggas get two shots. I got the juice like two pot. Hate and niggas get two shots. Diamonds hitting wrist rain and watch. Never cared about who I yeah, I got the juice. Just in case you didn't know, you now tuned into the number one podcast coming out of Ohio, goddammit. I got the juice like Tupac, hating niggas get two shots Diamonds hitting wrist, rain and watch, never cared about who high Yeah, I got the juice I got the juice, I got the juice Turn up. And I'm still off in that kitchen, water ripping, remixing And I swear to God, in one summer broke out my mom them dishes Hey, I got the juice, I got the juice, I got the juice Hey I got the juice, I got the juice, I got the juice Turn out, I'm riding man on my block And you'll get popped trying to sell rock In this cold world, you only promise two things A cold winter or a pop top I got the juice like Blizz did Dap up my niggas, then rob this bitch Like I got the juice, I got the juice, I got the juice Turn out, I swear Q was off in the booth DJ and remixing, hey I got the juice, I got the juice, I got the juice I got the juice like Bishop And it's my summer, better catch up Like I got the juice, I got the juice, I got the juice Hey, I got the juice Juice like Tupac, hating niggas get two shots. Two shots. Diamonds hitting wrist, rain and watch. Never cared about who I. Yeah, I got the juice. I got the juice. I got the juice. I got the juice. Turn up. I got the juice. What? That nigga screws. That nigga is rude. Okay. Go hard for the crew. Right. Tie his ass up, drunk his ass up his boots. Uh -huh. We not Bishop and Q. What? But like Bishop and Q, you get thrown off the roof. Bye -bye. And I move with the two. What? No sudden moves, got nothing to lose. Bye -bye. I hustle, hustle, gotta get it. In the kitchen, water whipping that woo. I love getting money, favorite color green, but my harness are blue. My bitch, she rocking me too. Shit. That gelato week got me feeling like Michael Jackson, and I walk on the moon. Yeah, they thirst for the juice. I got the juice like Tupac. Hating niggas get two shots. Diamonds hitting wrist rings. And watch, never cared about who high. Yeah, I got the juice. I got the juice. I got the juice. Turn up. I niggas thought y'all was all that when y'all dropped that shit. That's that's catchy. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I got the juice. Appreciate it. Try to come with something different. Mm -hmm. Oh, Black, what's up with you, Big Doc? Man, struggling and striving and striving to struggle, you hear me? Uh, today, man, it's just, uh, today has been a blessed day, overwhelming day, an exhausting day, yet a long day, but I'm glad that I seen another day. Mm. Amen. Uh, my little sister came home, man. She just, uh, she, uh, she just, you know what I'm saying, did a little three year bit. Okay, all three right, balls. All right, okay, you know then. Three balls, two down. You know what I'm saying? So it's definitely a celebration. Um, you know, I ain't gave her no shot. Oh yeah, you already know. Man, listen, we've been drinking all day. You know what I'm saying? We've been we we've been getting toe up all, That's why all, you was all morning. Sleep a minute ago. Yeah, on everything. So, <laughs> uh, but outside of that, man, you know, uh, I welcome my sis home, man. Uh, staying on the grind, staying focused. Trying to uh, get some things together as far as, you know, uh, pertaining to 
uh, the logistics when it comes to this music shit. You know what I'm saying? On the legal side, because a lot of people still get caught up in just writing and performing and visuals. And I don't want a motherfucker to be able to take nothing from me that I didn't set my my thoughts, my words, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to protect me. You know what I'm saying? So mm. brand itself, you know what I'm saying? Trying to learn certain things. You know what I'm saying? I nick pick, I ask questions, things of that nature for those who have already traveled down that road. Right. So outside of that, you know, um, that's what it is, man, and taking care of these babies, man, so. How many kids you got? Father Damn. Abraham, how y'all doing? <laughs> Diego, what's up, baby? Hey, I'm going to ask your ass that every week. Every like answer. Answer. <laughs> if I get a real answer, I'm going to ask your ass that every week. Shit. That's three in a row. Man, he said, how many kids you got? Damn. 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 <laughs> Hell of a question. Oh, uh, shit. Yeah. Still ain't answering that motherfucker. Big Diego. Diego, talk to him. Man, you know, I just been, uh. Secretly putting another album together on you niggas. You know? Shit far. Shit far. But, you know, other than that, man, hey, staying out the way, making this music, smoking this crumble, <laughs> you know, Probably. and raising my babies. <laughs> Football season just started. My son, my son on a new team. He getting active this year. He ain't on that shit he was on last year. On nigga out there, he's yeah. trying to get him a spot. So get that spring training yeah, going. He's doing that spring training. Got he the condition the yourself. Out there and shit. So he getting ready for that, man. So that's, that's all up. I got going on, man. What about you, bro? What you got going on? Uh, I've been in the booth working on new music. Mm. Oh okay. shit! Mm. I, I, Brandy. <laughs> hey, Brandy. I was there. I, I got saw this it. nigga. You hear me? Got this nigga. Out make me want to come out of retirement. Um, you go next. Ahead, go hey, ahead. you next. I'm just next. getting it. I got this uh, nigga out. We working on you though. I, okay. Um, I secretly about to drop an album on you niggas. <laughs> I'm about to leak that shit. Yeah, I'm about to drop an album on you niggas while working on <laughs> an album on you niggas. While working on a collab album on you niggas. So it's a lot of that going on. I got, um, <coughs> Working a lot with one of our new sponsors. I'm gonna shout them out when we done talk about what we've been up to. Um and of course, it took a long time, but we finally, I promise, we are finally about to shoot the first episode to everybody eats. Hallelujah. Uh outside of that, you know, just being the pie guy that I am or whatever, and you know, <laughs> just you know, being great. <laughs> what about you, bro? Man. You know me, man. I, I would say my normal two-step, but I had the weirdest shit happen to me earlier, man. <laughs> so, check dig, right? I get off work. All right. Hit up my neighbor, you know what I mean? Because grass was about this motherfucking high. God damn it. You ain't called me. Man, I, mm. I ain't had no... No cheese for you, Jay. Go. I would have called you, bro. Hey, respect. I need. I, I try. I, I need so, to handle this one on my own. <laughs> you know you just gotta, inflation, just nigga. Just gotta come inflation. But it's inflation. Any, but anyway, holler at the neighbor. Neighbor, let me use the line more. No problem, man. Anytime you need it, come on over, man. Just grab it. Okay, bro. Okay. All right. So check it out, <laughs> man. I go to the gas station, get me some gas, come back, <laughs> start doing my thing. <laughs> I pro I finish the front. <laughs> I get to the back, man. It it, it kind of cut off on me, so I'm looking like, all right, probably need some more gas. Put some more gas in it. Primed him up, man. I yanked that string. That motherfucker caught fire, boy. I said, we your buddy here, boy. Hey, 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 boy. Damn, damn, boy. Damn. Hey. Woo. Look, they said, is. they said, do you want to throw some water on it? I said, call the fire department, boy. <laughs> hey, I ain't touching that motherfucker. I ain't I going blame. nowhere near it. You feel me? I hey, don't blame. Boy, hey, I'd rather be safe than sorry, boy. Before we get to Brandy, you know how niggas call their job to call off with the craziest excuses ever. <laughs> he had a real one, my that nigga. Call like, hey, hey, I'm just letting y'all know. Cold red. And it's, that's yeah, that's what he said, cold red. Woo! I'm like, fuck going on? This nigga gonna turn his camera around and show us. <laughs> Whole lot show us the line. Line. <laughs> Oh, that fire man, f -f -f fire man, fire man. So Wayne, but I'm still that one. I'm still that one general manager that don't care. So like, so Brandy. you gonna be late or <laughs> is you calling off? Like, let me know what you gonna like, well, do. Was you gonna ride the lawnmower to hey, work? Yeah, I was gonna show up the pie with, with my eyeball hanging out and smoke coming out my throat. God, God bless y'all. 
Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Been that neighbor looking out the blinds like, Lord, have mercy. I'm just messing with y'all, man. But uh, big cooling, man. Watching my little TV shows. Uh, BMF been a, a huge hit lately. Uh, you sure? I'm po- positive, brother. <laughs> positive. You ain't. You ain't. Yeah, we'll talk about it later. Everybody is. It's your opinion, opinion. but uh, sure. exactly. Uh, Chicago Bulls. You know what I'm saying? We got our little play in tournament game tonight so hopefully they come through but other than that i'm chilling baby that's all i got going on who y'all play they uh play hawks. atlanta yep atlanta. matter of fact they playing right now play the are they getting ready to play miami's playing right now Miami is we we is did uh go to who who hey, hold hey, on y'all hey, y'all hey, getting carried hey, away hey, okay, Brandy say what she got to say we'll have I'm you sorry. on for it's been a minute <laughs> it, y'all act lie. like this ain't even ain't yeah, even I here said, I said, act, the niggas acting like she been here you, same thing you know what I mean yeah I mean we just wanted to make a special when it was her turn <laughs> you, hey but you know what <laughs> make Grand a special <laughs> sprinkle some water on it but. No random shit, but why the fuck this look like a Slim Jim? What kind of paper is this? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> like a slim Jim. Take the plastic off that little shit of Slim Jim. That motherfucker look like a uh, meat fuck- stick. <laughs> 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 Somebody done lit their snack up. I'm like, oh, snap it to a Slim Jim. That motherfucker, I thought it was going to have some seasonings. It's funny because you got the look on the glass. All right. <laughs> All right. Before, before, before the pop father start getting on, on the churry. All right. Yeah. Queen is in, in this bitch. Y'all already know. Hey, Great man, day welcome here. back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome hey. back. Damn, I, I missed you. Like you did <laughs> What? You did. What? Shut your lens. Shut up. You ain't missed me. <laughs> Shut up. I missed y'all though. I did. I missed y'all. But yeah, man. Uh, far as me, shit, working, hustling. Uh, I ain't like you know like guest guest starred on some other shit. But like pot uh pies with like boxing and everything. You know, y'all know I'm a boxing head. Oh yeah. But other than yeah, that, yeah. shoot, it's it's been up. Like, man, I'm going to the show next weekend, Cat Williams. I can't yeah. wait. You was talking about that last time. Yeah, lie, but but guess what? Niggas always want to bring you down. It's the same day as my damn son's prom. So let me mm. tell you something. I'ma kiss that boy. Hey, y'all send look his ass on off. <laughs> you, you look handsome. You look beautiful. I love y'all. Mama go. Mm-hmm. I'm just like the father on um on next like Friday. I got say. my money and I was gone. So I'm out. I'm out sad. Respect. I was so happy to see her until she reminded me she planned all that shit without us. Anyway, hey, well, that, hey that, that part. No, but y'all, it's still some tickets out there. <laughs> and, yeah, I mean, <laughs> they the nose bleeds, <laughs> but that's sixty five dollars. Like, bro, if I ain't mistaken, <laughs> I think that's brandy down. There. <laughs> <laughs> I would be like, hey y'all. Oh, yeah. wake. Incredible. <laughs> she said, there's still some tickets left. <laughs> y'all can still see you. Uh, bro, you look like a one stop shop. Besides what that, that though, what you been up to? On? I mean, shit, just mainly that, <laughs> mainly that. You know, shoot, trying to trying to get some little things together. You know, far as you know, success money wise, you know, shoot, it's the last year. My son being in high school and all that, you know, but that's about it. What about you, Chuck? Um, I've been trying to stay busy. I got me a new ride. Oh, okay, okay, come on, oh, it's just a, a little, little or Mazda. I, I got lucky. Got it's yours. Two thousand dollar hey. car hey. in an age where the two thousand dollar hey. car doesn't exist anymore, yeah. and it and it works. And, uh, and it ain't even really the car that's the big deal. It's just being mobile. Cause yeah. I don't yeah. know if you guys realize this, but we made it through the whole winter without me being, you know, mobile on my own. I've been sharing a car with my girl, so hey. I'm gonna be able to step up. <laughs> Dedicated know, to the game, like here. you play in a bubble. Mm. So uh, I'm pretty happy about that. Um, playing Shout out to Chuck's car. girl for believing in, in the dream and letting her, you yeah. know, letting him hey. share the car. 100 yep. percent on that. But um, I want to throw it out there now. I'm going to the Indy 500 on Memorial Day. I brought it up before. I just wanted to invite you guys. Mm. It's 45 bucks for hey, you. <laughs> you trying to slide? I'm trying to slide, bro. I'm going. We're going. You can walk I'm around. To slide. We're going. People right, setting up on. with like parties going on. You can just walk up and real start hanging talk. out with people. It's real chill. It's not like. When is this? It's Memorial Day, Sunday. 
Day uh, weekend. That's in May. That's in, in May. May. Yeah. yeah. My in son. I'm about to say we really don't give a fuck about Memorial Day. You have to be a little more specific. Like when exactly is it's May 26. Okay. There we go. There we go. See, we did. None of us at this at in hey. this little U section. My bad. No, hey, man. but he know. Cul de sac. <laughs> but he know. <laughs> he on to some shit My because bad. it's gonna jump. Facts. It's gonna jump. It's gonna jump. That's gonna be in the good footage. What? Right. Uh, we gotta with? get a hotel room or Airbnb. Shit, we down there. We'll, get get we'll figure it out. Airbnb. Paying my, who paying for my room? He said who we ride oh, with. No, like he ride, no like he ride with somebody. Yeah, we coming. <laughs> doing no <laughs> tricking. He don't even. He don't even like to be in the passenger seat for more than uh, fifteen minutes. More than talking about who he more than five minutes. Who paying for his shit? Who ride with you? More than five minutes. Y'all miss when y'all ain't fucking with me. Man, I ain't tricking it. All right, let one one time. I ain't Diddy. Let's give a shout out to our sponsors. We would like to thank Kiar Wine, and we would like to thank Black Billionaire for supporting our dream and believing in the process. God bless y'all. We were supposed to have a guest today, but they had to cancel all on three. One, two, three. Oh, yes. Uh, what oh, they said. Thank you. Nah, you, you right. Hey, hey, oh, hey, shit. hey, hey, because you you know how I really feel. See, I'm potting. Want me to keep it real? Hey, we on hey. pot. Y'all niggas ain't going to keep me up. So you know what time it is? Topics, 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 topics. Hey, I'm saying. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What'd she say? What'd she say? She said, Cena. Whoa. What what type of shit what? you want? Roman, what, what, Roman what too. Happen? What? Oh uh, yeah. Oh, hey. Shit. Hey, she <laughs> damn near gotta go. Hey, Cody. She damn near gotta hey, go. Cody. Did she just come back this on a, the, this? This and a this brandy club. Whoa. And this, <laughs> and, and hey, this, this nigga hey, just Cody. came back different. Who is this? <laughs> oh my god. The heel turn. She, Whoa. <laughs> Real heel turn. <laughs> <laughs> came back. Whoa. Hey, hey, she came. I don't I'm recall them. Go ahead and say your shit. I'm sensing a lot of motherfucking heat coming up <laughs> off that couch, man. <laughs> Go get yours, B. Uh, shit. Hey, yo. What's up, Whoa. Cody? Mm. Damn, that's deep. Oh, oh I'm sorry. That's deep. She cold blood. I just fucked my whole pie vibe up. <laughs> Nah, they don't do it. Don't do it like All right, that. Let me see if I get. Let me see if I can bring it back, man. Let, let's go ahead and play this clip and talk about it. She said, "Cena sucks." Cena. Oh, why sucks. can't I hear you, gang? Where did oh, okay, that come from? Hold on, let me run that back. See, like when Diddy why fucked Carl's Winslow, we was at the party, uh huh, and you know we just whoa, chilling whoa, and shit whoa, like that. Wait, you and stop. me. Stop. Stop. You gotta ease that in, no Diddy. Yeah, that no, was, you uh, gotta ease that in, no Diddy, my nigga. What the hell? Wait, I'm not <laughs> oh, crazy. Like I see, like oh, when man, Diddy oh. fucked Carl. <laughs> Wait. No, intro, oh. please, di no what Diddy. What does that pause. even have to do with what hey, we were talking bro. about? <laughs> hey, that's crazy. Hey, that's basically nigga. how the news goes right now. Bro. Like, oh, hey, hey, no, 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 no. Diddy be. What the hell is you on? Are y'all ready? Take that, take are ready? Hold on. Are <laughs> no. y'all ready? ready to pop? Damn. Take that, take that. Because when Diddy <laughs> want to party, you got to tell him that no. Man. Hold on, man. I feel violated. Wait, y'all ready? Are y'all prepared? Ooh. Ain't bro dead? <coughs> I need another. <laughs> Where the blunt go? Would you let him rest I'm in peace? I mean, <laughs> let him there. Whoa. I'm All right. Put him to come All right, here we go, man. We See, like, when Diddy fucked Carl's Winslow, we was at the party. Uh-huh. And, you know, we just chilling and shit like that. And me, he messed up my every, when he told me every, that. everybody know me, right? Right. I'm a I'm a goofy oh, nigga. I'm funny and stuff like yeah. that. So I hear a nigga <laughs> just wearing out some shit. I'm like, huh? <laughs> like hearing that, I'm like, on six oh, who's wearing this bitch out? Right. Nigga, I kick in the door. Poof. Kick in the door. Nigga, I seen. I looked. I seen Carl Winslow. Put yeah, that's the father. Ain't that the father from oh, like, from Family Matters? <laughs> yeah. No way. Oh, the dad. Oh, the dad. The dad. Oh, the dad. The dad. The dad. The dad. I swear to God, dead homies, neighborhood crib. So when I see, I, wow. see, I seen that, Man. and then so who who was piping the car? Uh, Diddy. Yeah, yeah, Diddy was. So when 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 I see when I seen that, cuz right, Diddy came back and he he was telling me he was like, it's nothing. More enjoyable than having a man do something for some money. I'm like, cuz that shit crazy. Oh, no, nah, that's fun. wild, bro. Hey, so listen, mm -hmm. with, with mm -hmm. my sister being gone for so long, I would like her opinion to open this up. 
It's a rare condition this day and age. <laughs> Very good news of God. Some people say it's even harder to find. It's so much to sing it. It's inside these gentle walls. Inside these gentle walls. Inside Inside those dense walls hit different these days. It's a different love with a family. No diddy. No diddy. Okay. They're going to flag the shit out of us for y'all saying so well. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait a minute, Yego. I'm going to give y'all powers back. There you go. Damn it. Yeah, Don't yeah. do that. We just had a yeah. moment. We, 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 we had a whole we had a whole moment. Don't do that. We will see. Our fury is feeling this. Give us chip, give us chipmunk uh voices on it. Oh, oh that'd be hilarious. But nah, my uh my great grandma, she always she Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I just, to go in. Nah. <laughs> I, threw on this, I threw this to the queen. <coughs> and you oh, niggas start oh. singing. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> that was amazing. That was amazing. We was following her lead. It that was, was amazing. Lead. But as a woman, can I be honest with you? I am disturbed just even listening to that. I'm so I don't I, just to hear the details as a woman, I'm disturbed. Even I, man, I don't believe. Just to go to another one, I don't believe that that Meek Mill video that I heard was AI. I was disturbed as a woman. That was really them, wasn't it? That was them. <laughs> yeah, that I'm disturbed. So just to hear all of this, I'm gonna keep it real. I believe it. I believe it, and I got receipts. You tired of your producers? Yeah. Ooh, they tie the, I the, them dancing This shit ain't videos. by mistake. This shit mm -mm. by design. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> that, bro. All, mm -mm. all in your all in your videos, mm -mm. dancing. Mm -mm. Nino, it's real. <laughs> I'm <laughs> telling you, everybody ain't lying. It's too many receipts. I ain't deep dived into that. Right. You tired of partying, partying? <laughs> <laughs> I like when you do that, Daddy. Man, I like when, when you scrambling and scraping. I like when you doing that, Daddy. But you ain't never party, party. Yeah, that's what he did when they. That's what. That's what made me. I'm. He like you ain't never party, party with me. I'm like you don't ask Fifty Cent to take him shopping. He said I thought he wanted some clothes. I thought he needed some clothes. You don't do that. Yeah. It's a lot of. I'm Fifty? telling you, I believe it. I yeah. believe it. I just thought that that yeah, was Curtis. That was some sh some good shit to to, to get y'all woke. Y'all woke and ready to go now. Uh, that was just, a, I just my shot glass, my shot glass I empty. Thing. Niggas up. Yeah, I'm done but talking hey, about Diddy well, man. When y'all want to go into a deep dive, I'm telling you, I got receipts. I deep dive. We can do that as an episode. I got us. Man, yeah. after pie, I've been doing my research on that shit too. Get, you feel hey, me? Hey, you hear, you hear me, Brandy? Yeah, I've been doing my research me. on that shit too. Ooh, I got research. Just know, just know, just know this. The rabbit man. hole is deep, baby. Just know this. <laughs> the I'm industry. not I'm not surprised behind that shit. I, what I being a kid, right? Watching Family Matters or Fresh Prince for that. He always seen feminine though. Carl Wilson Uncle, always seen feminine to me. Yeah. Uncle Phil did too. Yeah. But I didn't know that at That's first bad. until yeah. a nigga was actually told that they was gay. It started yeah. making sense. Yeah, my great grandma did. When yeah. I thought that, that Uncle Phil was it's gay, I was man. like, what? Wait, yeah. wait, wait. Like, wait, all wait. Say this shit Uncle, all the yeah. time. Uncle Phil. From gay? Fresh Prince? Yeah, yeah. he's first yeah. Uncle Phil. The first the, the, the only the Uncle Phil. Rest in peace. Big yeah, yeah, big light skin, bald head. Avery. Yeah. I'm no, no, don't get it fucked up. It's two. No, it's only Avery, one that was two Vivians. Bel Air no, don't fucking count. Two Uncle Phil. Bel Air don't count. That shit don't count. Man, That's something else. Man, yeah, we ain't talking That's about the new model shit. We talking about the never even be. We talking about and a dark skin. No, we talking about we talking about we talking about Will Smith. That nigga, that dark skin nigga ain't acknowledged. We talking we talking about we talking about Fresh Prince, the Will Smith. We don't acknowledge him. We don't acknowledge him. Uncle Phil. Before we move on to something else, can I just say this? That's still related. For sure. So what? All of us, all of us are, whether we are, uh, was rappers or, you know, still rapping, affiliate, whatever, or, you know, a hip hop head, all yeah, that. We're right. part of the, Cause the I'm culture. an artist you feel from me? the hip hop culture. With us knowing that mm -hmm. and seeing all these stories and what was going on and that's still going on in the industry. Y'all, do we still want to be a part of that? I don't know. Listen, 
That industry is deep. It's dark. For sure. You're going to have to sell your soul <coughs> or something. Everybody ain't going to be able no, to be don't. mainstream and Can independent. I, I no, so, not so, every so, life. So, I done seen enough as examples of people that ain't went that route and still made a decent enough living up off music yeah. for me to you still want up for sure. My favorite rapper Starlito. ain't going for that shit. Starlito. Yeah. Starlito. Starlito. Larry Jones. I, Don Tripp. I mess with Currency Starlito. the Hospital. It's a lot of artists. It's a lot of artists that ain't going that way that can still... They might not be you mainstream. Have have listen you have to, have to me. Have... Listen to me. Go ahead. They might not be mainstream, and they might not have a super huge hit on the radio, but they make enough money off of their shit to, to make a, cult, a living. Exactly. A cult type you know what I'm saying? Of, like, uh, they got a, 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 a decent fan enough fan base to you make a to living have, off their music. That's what I'm saying. And that's a, um, I, I can aim take for that. Nine. Mm -hmm. I can aim Take for that rather than aim to be, be uh, the what biggest. More can you ask everybody for? can't have, but everybody ain't gonna have that. You have to have a cult. Built type of dedicated. Shit. No, you don't. Fam, guy, yes, you no, you do. don't. No, you don't. Listen, MF I don't make about a hundred dollars off my music. So if I can make a hundred dollars off my music with barely any views, let me catch a record that, that give me ten thousand. They ain't calling you for festivals. Fuck like Coachella, you don't need that. And these motherfuckers this is paying for tickets to show up you for you. That. Tech Nine and all them like Starlet Don Trip. They still do festivals. All of it. you have to have a cult. Like dedicated underground fan base. They streaming look, music. Believe it. Uh, they dropping Red, music and Trippy streaming. Red still make it, but you have to have that. Everybody ain't gonna have that. That's all I'm saying, mm -hmm. Diego. But I'm saying yeah. it's something and that's that you why can some aim of them for. Are going to take that other route and be messed up by this industry. Right. But your question was, do we still want to do it that? It costs more to Fuck be independent. That level. It I don't want to be on that level. to be My independent versus is, being on a main label where they're taking care of a whole lot of stuff. No, it don't. You get, you get, no, it don't I mean, cost more. You're getting more shine. You're you getting more, more endorsements. You, you, you they you taking more money Bowl, from you. you. They give you a whole bunch of money up front and then try to make stream. you make that back. But you're still you don't even make that back, though. You don't even make that back. Where as far as I can go... Anybody else can go drop a project people on like their own Don right Lita, now and keep 100% uh, of like, that. Like, like Star Lead on it, they only travel to certain places that they know that their fan base is going to be, where they're going to make money. And that they makes sense, right? Labels push these mugs on radio play, all that type For of sure. courses down. You feel mm -hmm. me? All I'm big saying is, and is and they, they their shit off. big visuals and they, they videos, they... They're, they're getting played. They're able to do world tours. They're able to do, like, it's more commercial and marketing. It's not too many people that's going to be like them, like like Starlito and Don, and all, Don Tripp and them, that's going to be able, like, man, you have to be a special individual. They don't work. Because in that case, why the but. fuck we ain't there? And we know, I know I was dropping big shit. But I can tell you my story too. You I quit. Wasn't, you know why I quit? <coughs> I can tell you why I quit. Saying, put, you, me on, put me on shit to answer your question. Go. To answer your question, you quit. To answer your question, you quit. And there. I can tell you why I quit. But let me tell you something. I was the only person in Ohio I need to that, see that had an iHeart radio station. An iHeart radio station, a Pandora. A distribution label. I was in Coast to Coast magazine with a spotlight with a home. And I, I know you, all I of this because I was a fan. I things, know this. I know this. All I'm this saying shit, is bruh. to it's answer things. your question on why we still here, you quit. It's things that go with this shit. Man, when a nigga told me that I'm going to have to do some things that I ain't going to want to do and I ain't going to put have, You didn't have to there. fuck with that nigga. You didn't have to fuck with that it's, nigga. It's other ways around. It's, more it's when people it comes that to a done, female artist. I, was, I understand that too. I get that for sure, but. You didn't have to deal with that man. Again, like it's harder when you are independent and you trying, you put because you're investing yourself. You feel me? It's hard work. It's high risk, high reward. There you go. It's a gamble. Mm -hmm. You feel me? You got to put man the first question, on the lake. But the, the question, question was, the que the question is though, to the individual, whoever is, but to your what you asked us is this is something that we still want to be a part of. Me being in tune with music. Like, he was trying to not to. He put too much thought in the not saying it. He put too much thought in the not saying it. the nigga been on the show, we got to explain it this time. She got to know why we just did that. Because since he's come on the show, every episode, this nigga has always said, 
me being you know, an artist. You know, I'm with me being an artist. Every time we speak it to an artist in the interview, he always say, with me being an artist. Oh, okay. With me being an artist. <laughs> so so just listen, the last it. episode, though, is funny because he going to say, yeah, with me being a local artist. He tried to add a little something <laughs> different. And then before and it went off, the nigga said, you know, with me, me being a musician. musician. <laughs> you know, it's okay, love. Don't I ain't tripping. They be picking them. With you being an entertainer, you feel me? Hey, you're evolving. Now, why you take? You, you why you understand? take what he was gonna say next week? Yeah, don't worry about it. Why I'm you take what something. he was gonna say next she, week? She, she, next she, week is just yeah. gonna be performer. At this point, it's I gonna become ideas. a bitch. You feel what I'm saying? But go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no. But I was just saying, like, far as what I'll, the the whole argument or debate, should I say? That was a good one. Thank you. There you go. Is hey. that like with us knowing that and us, you know, being it like, man. The entry is dark, dude. The truth is coming out about what ha what happens behind closed doors. Do y'all new artists want to go through that? Yeah, I, I would I, hope I, mean, I, I would hope not. But the question was, do I still want to be a part of it? I do. It's ways around. It's not. It's it's not. It's not necessarily a part of what they do to be successful. But because I love music. <laughs> But to be cool with I'm these not type just, of people that's gatekeepers, because Biddy and all them. I don't have to be cool with them. I don't have to condone or like what they do. <clears throat> I have a passion for something. And I can, I'm not going to stop my passion based off of the wrongdoing that other people... That's just like... Anything that we got True. going on in life is manipulated and, and or used in a negative or derogative way. I feel that. So why am I going to put my dreams or my ambitions on hold or whatever because this person has decided to take what I have love for and use it in a negative manner or whatever and it has mm -hmm. shown a, 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 a bad light on it? This is what I'm not, not going to do that. This, not what you, this is what you're not understanding, though. In this game that we talking about, nigga, you don't have a choice. You either going to play or you can't play. But it's people that don't play. Who? Who, who, who? You got to be a special Jada, individual. Styles. Jada ain't one of them, though. He respected this, in the streets. This what, what, we this talking one, about what, this mega what star status. Her question was, do you still want to be a part of it knowing what... And again... I said I do. And no again, one I don't. I, just, said, I just don't have to part. I don't have to participate then you in can't that. Can't but it's participate. One, it's, I can't. It's just no, my can't. no. My success level. My success level is has a cap to it. If you that's wanna all get, that is. If, if I give my that, ass up and not suck some niggas dick, I'm gonna reach the motherfucking <laughs> skies oh, above, shit. nigga. But if I choose not to, I'm gonna get a little bit off the of ground. I can level. I'll be. I and won't be all the way you. up here. See, but, but this I'll this be right here. But you're not playing to get that. You, what you saying is what we're saying, and what you're saying is you're not going to participate. Correct. You wouldn't get far. Ain't that what I've been far. saying? This whole thing. You Maybe wouldn't you get go far. Play or you can't play. We it saying it's cool without playing. Because you know. Yeah, I'm you saying it's cool without far. playing. I take it as do but I so want to be a part of the culture? So you don't know. When do you want to be a part he of the game? basically saying bro. like he's not going to give up rapping, but. You know what I mean? And we're That's saying the exact same. You know what I'm saying? He, we, listen, we're making the same point, but he's yeah. not answering. You don't want to be a part of that game. Per <coughs> Respectfully. You're cool with being an artist that put in the groundwork independently to get to get what you need out of this shit. Yes, sir. Facts. We're saying the same thing. No, you don't want to participate, nigga. That's the correct answer. You don't. You don't, wanna, you don't want. You don't want. Yeah. The Grammy. You don't do you want the Grammy. Do you see what? Do you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You don't want to participate because if you wanted to participate, you would be at the Diddy party party with Carl Winslow, nigga. <laughs> yeah, oh. That's oh. how I love. That's how oh. I love. It's oh. a boom, oh. nah, nah, nah. And a, yeah, yeah. We, let's sing it now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. All right. So listen. Sing it plus, now. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all had a great debate. I love that. I missed that. Please. Come on, man. We go. I had fun. That was good. Listen, um, this is what I want to ask. I want to speak on like uh your thoughts about the small city mindset and what people around you aspire to be. Because coming from a small city, I realize if you don't leave this motherfucker, you really don't think it's nothing bigger than this motherfucker. You feel me? Like mm -hmm. 
when you I when I go out of town and I come back, the sky literally looked like it got like a gloomy like gloom. tint to it. It looks so gloomy. Right. Okay, I'm not the only one. You see what I'm saying? Like when That's you go to great. Miami for a minute no, no, and then you come you back, come back and just you be like. Great. It's, it's, it's the whole energy, different. the vibe, it the atmosphere tastes, is different. When you breathe in through your mouth, it tastes different. Like mm -hmm. when I uh, I lived in Florida for a year, and I brought one of my friends here, and it was his first time leaving Florida, and he said that exact thing. He's like, "Man, everything looks like like it's a, on a dirty camera, like a tent." Mm -hmm. So yeah. for people that don't really leave the city, they don't think that it's possible being something outside of mediocre. Like a lot of people is comfortable with, I have a friend, no cap. I asked this nigga, if I was in a position with my network to where I could pay you $10,000 a month to stop trapping and come be a podcaster, you know what this nigga said to me? I would take that money and put it back in the streets. How crazy do that sound? Look at your face. Look at her mm -hmm. face. Can't, uh, Look, bro, that just sounds so. You can make ten thousand dollars sitting in front of a microphone for a couple hours a week, and you gonna go get on with it. Hey, that sounds so <laughs> dumb I mean, to me. Okay, I mean, unless, unless this nigga getting, <laughs> unless this nigga getting bricks, you feel me? Getting some some boy, unless he ain't no way. Even if you is getting bricks, I'm putting all that shit with my ten bands to go sit down on the couch with these motherfuckers. I mean, that's true too. That's true too. Ain't no way. And that's a month. So every thirty days, you're going, every you going know, another ten. I'm just saying, you I mean, gotta I'm, be a dummy. Have you, you ever did be... manual labor? I don't even. I'm, I'm sorry, sir. Saying, Listen, I am sorry. I don't even know count. why. Do facts count? Hell yeah, facts do. Manual especially. labor. Yeah. Have you ever? Shit. Matter of fact, fuck just manual labor. Have you shit. ever had to do some shit that you didn't want to do, but you did it because the bills got to be paid and people got to be fed? Talk about yeah. it. Why yeah. would you think to yourself, I can make a hundred and twenty thousand dollars a year base pay? I just don't get it. So, I just want to bring up like, uh, I really want to know what do you aspire to be? I guess that's the general question. Like realistically, hmm. and if you even really think about it, do you think about yourself bigger than just being somebody that work at a factory or a motherfucker that gotta go to a, you know what I mean? Mm. Mm. I have. <clears throat> um, on I've always been complimented on my gifts, talents, and shit like that. And um, as I got older, my choir of life, my choir of life, the taste that I have acquired in life, like certain shit, like, you know, some things just fit you or it feel right or something. You just like, this ain't it. Mm -hmm. Like, this just ain't it, bro. So circumstantially, like seeing how things was growing up, I'm like, I know this ain't how I want to live. I knew growing up for the same one how I wanted to live, how I wanted to live. So nobody showed me how to put a plan together. I just started venturing off, trying to ex exp you know what I'm saying, experience, uh, uh, explore ways to try to come up and better the situation to my likeness. Okay, so I'm gonna say I got. I'm gonna just go ahead and say. Hold this. on, because yeah. the general question is. What do you aspire to be like? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I always aspire to just be something great. I uh, what it was, I didn't know. I and to this day, to me, it's always been music or just uh, reaching out to people. I have a, I know I have a um, a story to tell, mm -hmm. so I'll be trying to find my like. I'm a people's that. person, I so I know how to relate I to people. That. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so music is one way how I vent in, re in, in, in relation and yeah. just generally having conversation or whatever, you know what I'm saying, and, and shedding light on I feel my you. past and what, you know what I'm saying? So if I'm not somebody infamous, famous to where the world knows, if I'm able to just talk to a couple of people and able to alter their, I feel like I've aspired to be what I, you know, 
Mm. And let me go ahead and. That's like a mission. Just let, let me go ahead and uh, clean that up. You know what I'm saying? Right behind him. Because I feel like, you know what I'm saying? I know what he's trying to say, but this is my answer to your question, really. Uh, I aspire to be the best man I can be on a daily basis. You know what I'm saying? It's not as simple as when they ask you when you're a little kid, what, what you want to be when you grow up, you know what I mean? Or that kind of thing. Uh, not for me anyways. Uh, <clears throat> it's just like I got the potential to be anything, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like I feel like wherever wherever spirit kind of puts me to display some leadership capability or, you know, to, you know what I'm saying? If I could reach one, you know what I mean? Or if I could just help somebody, you know what I mean? Or uh, if I could learn this, you know what I mean? It's, it's just, it's different. Uh, but in a nutshell, I just... I just aspire to be better the next day. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's deep. That's deep. That's deep. I'll go next. I'll say um, I figured out so far in my life, like, I just figured out that people, I have a gift with people. Man, I'm the life of the party. I, I mean, I always have people rolling, cracking up, all that type of stuff. I have strangers that come to me that don't even know me that just talk to me and will listen to what I got to say. It seems like they can walk away and feel good about they, they words. I mean, the words that I gave them. And it's like I walk away feeling sad, like, man, I'm worrying about them. But I've came to terms with that. I just noticed, like, that's my gift. I got a lot of people that gravitate towards me and they, they fuck with me. I got some ones that, that be like, man, I love you, man. You might, you know, show love to me and everything. So I think that's one of my gifts. So I inspire to keep other people happy and feeling good about themselves and, you know, better than themselves for real. And I, I love that I'm that type of person that people look up to. You'll be an, en an energy shifter. Yeah, yeah. But also inspire to, you know, get some success, some more success and money and, you know, but that's my biggest goal. Like, that's my inspiration. I inspire to be that person to help other people. It sent me. It, that's my gift. Word. What about you, brother? Shit. <clears throat> I just aspire to be the one motherfuckers can, like, depend on, like, if anybody, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just want to be able to be the one that can help everybody around me get to whatever they need to. You feel me? If it's whether it's money, I just if, if I need money, that's what I need to be able to help people. I don't, if anybody needs some money or something, and and I, I just want to be able to have it and be able to help whoever around me. You know what I'm saying? And just make everybody's life around me easier. Yeah. So any way I could work to doing that. It's just, you know, it's kind of like what Bruce said. I just aspire to be a great person. Right, okay. Word. So, <clears throat> I ain't gonna lie, everybody, with everything y'all said was was great. You know, there is no wrong answer, you, you feel me? It's just something I want to know. <laughs> Not for sure, but... In my feelings. With me, the older I get, the more shit I, I notice myself getting into. Like, of course... I've been through my music phase. I'm still in my music phase for the people that's going to try to jump down my throat for saying it past tense or something. I wasn't even going to say nothing. You know, so, yeah, I correct myself so you didn't have to. <clears throat> but uh, with me, uh, like, being in the music, um, I'm picking up a camera now. I'm shooting videos <laughs> for people. Um, I'm trying to run a network with multiple shows. I got a shirt company with my girl. Um, and everybody around me know for the longest, all I've really been speaking about is getting like sprinter vans so I could be my own boss. And with everything I done did, whether it was caution gang or uh, stay solid or uh, cut different network or anything, um, I realized that I try to pull my people in with me. So I realized what I aspire to be is the outlet. You feel me? Like, in whatever way I get successful, 
I'm able to bring my people with me in some way, form, or fashion. You feel me? Amen. If I can get a fleet of Sprinter vans, nigga, we we all mm. independent contractors. You yeah, y'all working. Money. Y'all gonna be working. Amen. Y'all gonna be ne- working. If the network blow, everybody got a show. We getting y'all to gonna that. be working. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> if my shirt be- company, if my shirt company pop off. Shit, I need somebody to push the press them shirts and got yeah. them do graphic design and shit. You feel me? So I at, at some point yeah. I just realized no matter what I end up being, I aspire to be somebody that yeah. Cause y'all ain't gonna be calling Nino talking about people, I need to brawl somebody. No, nah, I he put it on the family. <laughs> he put no. Nah, we y- y'all gonna work? <laughs> ain't no. Don't be calling me all oh, oh, cause I'm, I'm in a band right now. No, cause cause I just told you like I'm this is junk jangling. I got jobs for like all that, of us. Colony. What about you, Chuck? What's up? Oh shit! Oh shit! Damn! Huh? All Chuck right. Had them shots. All right. He said, <laughs> "What you inspire to be? What should, what should, what that's, inspires that's, you?" I, I was what? Just making sure I was still on the right page. Now, now okay, I want to know what, what Chuck inspires doing. you, Chuck. <laughs> um, I aspire to be self-sufficient. Pretty much, I don't want to have to work for somebody else. I want to be able to make enough Preach. working for myself to where I can survive off of that. And if I want right. to live above that, I might have to work for somebody else. But I still want to be able to choose when I'm working. I don't want to have to answer to a nine to five job for the rest of my life. Ooh, hey, yeah. Chuck, I ain't gonna lie to you. If we get to the point to where we can survive just off of this, ain't no going to work for nobody else. We just gonna put in some more goddamn work. You hear me? Right, that right. Shit, once we get to that point, it's OVA. It's and that, that I guess I could say is what I aspire to do. Yeah, that's dope. I ain't I ain't threw a curveball topic in there in a minute. That was you nice. feel me? So I thought that I would with <laughs> Brandy nice. being back and shit, you know what I mean? I thought I would throw one out there. Um Yeah, that was dope. Thanks, man. You know, I try to do what I could do when I could do it. You know what I mean? Uh let me see what this is real quick. Take the slim jam. Oh, okay. Boom. Listen. <laughs> no diddy. Listen here, right? I'm about to say, bro. <laughs> hey, she funny, <laughs> Now, y'all heard of turkey burgers? Hold on. Mm-hmm. What, what, I mean, you What's heard coming? it. You heard You're talking you, about a, a like turkey a real, burger. Yeah, like, like a, a real, real turkey you burger. Right? Tomatoes, you make it a turkey. And, okay, all you right. You know, we have the traditional burger with the ground beef and whatnot. It, I'm pretty sure there's, there's uh, multiple ways. to. I'm sure Mexicans use it to, with pork or something, make a little pork patty or something. You know what I mean? Chorizo. So, yeah. What's that? It's, it's like Mexican a sausage. <laughs> it's a pork. Chorizo. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? A chorizo burger. You feel chorizo. me? But I'm just uh, curious to know, has anybody ever heard? <sighs> Let me see. He's some shit. He's about to throw some One shit. One of the most unpalatable foods in the world, mosquito burger. Each mosquito burger contains about 600,000 mosquitoes and is said to have seven times the nutritional value of a beef burger. During the rainy season in Africa, the mosquitoes around Lake Victoria are too numerous to count. About 2,000 mosquitoes per cubic meter of space. In order to deal with this long battle with mosquitoes, they ingeniously created this unique mosquito burger. Faced with frequent mosquito infestations, the locals are not happy with the frequent mosquito infestations. In order to make up for the lack of protein in their daily diet, they catch a large number of mosquitoes, then they press them into the shape of a burger and fry them in a pan. Although it looks very dark, but this mosquito burger is a unique and tasty dish when it's done. The men and their children eat it together in this unique food culture. Mosquito burgers have become one of the specialties that the residents enjoy. (laughs) What if they feeding us this shit already? Don't do that. That's That's why I don't eat McDonald's. You can't trust (laughs) me. I get it off, y'all. Put your headphones back on. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Them White Castle burgers be stinking, boy. Like, what is this? McDonald's for me. They be having holes in it and shit. Like, what the fuck is this? Uh, that's soy. Did that that's have crazy. a video of them like collecting the mosquitoes? For sure. Yeah, yeah I've seen that before. Yeah. yeah. That was so dirty. Hey, Make, sure right Make sure you grab that right there. Make sure you grab that burger. Uh, that crazy. video, Chuck. Hey, Make sure you grab that video. Oh, I will. My, hey. oh, wow, my, my wow, stomach wow. been 
Y'all just don't know. Skin, what if the motherfuckers, so. one of the motherfuckers, fly out your sandwich like? <laughs> and the, cra- and the crazy thing, the and the crazy area. thing you is like, your shit medium, medium. <laughs> you ordered your shit medium rare. <laughs> when you when you know like what a mos- what the what the mosquito does and what it can carry. Yeah, that shit's sick. And you Bruh. sit there and you talking about you didn't made a burger this shit. So you got a per- <laughs> that's that's mercury. They, hey, I, I, that's all type of bacterial shit. And you talking about a person digesting this. Mm. I hope that's fake. Hey, why they was hey, in that video. was my fake. They was I in a video catching mosquitoes with pans like this. Yeah, bro, that, that was my fake. Mosquitoes everywhere. Throwing Look, grippo season that on shit them got me shits. itchy. Like when you see, it, <laughs> you know how you see a roach, you get itchy. That shit got me itchy Randy like that. Randy said, cut bro. this out. They got <laughs> combos with them motherfuckers, you yeah. The roof of their mouth be like, ah. I, no, I said cut I'm going to tell you why I said cut Swollen in the motherfucker, you yeah. Because I already be, I be on TikTok too, doggone much, but I also be researching stuff like how they be making <laughs> fake vegetables. Like some, a lot of this stuff that we eating right now, like you go down to Kroger's right now and go over even to the, uh, the fish part, the fresh fish part. And you try to look at look at the signs. They'll tell you like you be like, man, I want that that salmon or you know some whiting or tila-. and they'll tell you on the sign like also uh, has been dyed with su- like it tells you that stuff the on fine the sign. Print. Yeah, like man. The things about the dyes in meat though, it's actually pretty funny because the only reason that they had to do that is because people wouldn't buy the meat if it looked a little off, but the meat already looks a little off if you're used to dyed meat. So we're kind of stuck in a in a, mm-hmm. pun, a paradigm. Or so why a they playing with this, Chuck? Why are they playing? Well, I'm with just saying we're, that's we're what generations it's to look like, Show me it. what it looked like. These decisions were made by people that aren't around anymore, and yeah. we're just sitting here stuck in the middle because we're used to the meat that's colored, and the it's mm. like pink and like nice and yeah. fresh looking. That shit don't and, look right for real. But if they give us the meat right off the bone, we're gonna be like, what the hell is this? All right, so look, seeing how I know I'm never going back to my old job again. Might as well pit these motherfuckers on blast real. Let's, Let's go. go. Kick it back in. Let's Kick it back go. In. So, I'm about to take my headphones. So Cantonese classics mm-hmm. out of Cleveland, Ohio. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, it's a meat and seafood company. Mm-hmm. Um, Talk about them. They have a machine up there mm-hmm. to where when salmon and fish go bad, they got a spray that they could put on that motherfucker and put it in the machine. And make it fresh again. And make it go good. What? They got the re rock machine. Damn. Oh, wow. Damn. Can't so they sell the motherfucker. Hey, <laughs> ain't no profits losing. They sell it. They, <laughs> hey, everything must go. Y'all everything must down. go. We dropping this shit off. Once you got me, it, y'all you want me to run down the restaurants I delivered to? Hell yeah. Might as well. From Cincinnati, Kentucky, Indiana. Shit, Tip City, Troy, Pickwood, Versailles. Brandy over there like, what have we Downtown, become? they in downtown. Oh, man. Now, you know what? I ain't even going to do it. Hey, holla at me. We can no, make this shit. No, nah, 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 already hold on. started, Nah, no. nah, nah. Hey, Come hey, on. hey, we can make this shit right. Just get Come on. He going to sleep. I don't know. This shit can go away. Hey, I promise. Oh like, I used to be and, on the and phone with bro. And they in, please. I, I tell you off camera. Yeah. He said, he said the yeah. shit was bad. So it has been one day. It was good. good. Right, so, <laughs> so listen. Hell no. Nah, crazy. Playing the dangerous game. We dangerous. gonna wake up like zombies after the eclipse. Mm-hmm. Thirty days he later. Said we chopped that up all the mold out of it. <laughs> <laughs> hey Chuck, clip that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> bleep, 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 all right. So bleep. look. Let me ask y'all what y'all think about the FBI. this. Why you say that? I'm scared. I told him to clip it, like turn it into a reel. Oh, I thought you meant clip it, like get rid of it. (laughs) Boy, stop playing with me. Listen, you know what's funny? I told this nigga that I was going to call my manager a bitch-ass nigga to his face one day, right? Right. And he didn't believe me, right? Right. And you did. And then I sent him an audio clip, right? Right. And I called that nigga a bitch-ass nigga to his face. Oh! I remember that. I got him like he be getting me on pot. Man. Oh. <laughs> turned me up. Yeah, it turned him all the way like, up. nigga, you's a bitch. What's up? <laughs> Say y'all don't have no nipples. <laughs> all right, now, but t- tell me what y'all think about this, man. Then I'm going to ask y'all a question. Wait, have, wait, first, 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 first off. Have y'all um, ever heard the uh, Drake 21 Savage album? 
Yep. Mm -hmm. Her loss. Okay. Yep. Y'all familiar with this sound? I'm not. I just pulled me off the phone, trying to take sayings. Round around my ass and in like the whole hands. I said so much last night, it's hard to leave the bed. Then I did the whole kind of tech in a cold red. If I tell this bitch to pull up, she gon' mope it. My dog, you don't smoke on shit unless it's unlit. I don't back and forth over no net, so just go and dead it. See me when you see me, and if it's smoke, doggy, unleash it. Thick rockin' bitch, it's my fate, I'm not gon' beat it. Looking in the mirror, kiss my face, I'm too country. Said that bitch home, call another dog, I'm too slime. Shotty, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Yadi, Yadi got a lot of credits when he come to Drake. For sure. That was a slapper. Toe that's a, yeah, that's a reference track. Am I tripping? Yeah, Metro, I think Metro Boomin released that. I don't feel like that's a good enough counter for, for that shit that Drake put out, though. That part. And, oh, let's get to that. Uh, I, was, I was wondering. I was waiting. My brother. I, wait. mm -hmm. I saw my brother. You had some strong opinions about this whole little beef going on, man. I've been seeing you let's on social media. It. I want to get to it. So you feel like Rick Ross is wearing in the Drake? Yeah. I feel like, man, he he get the troll in this Let man. It. I, I am. You, you see, I'm, <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was. I just had got a question I for just, you when I you get just done. Really, I just really felt like, uh, when it come to this, when it come to this man right here, he, first of all, he just drug my man in. You know what I'm saying? Into this, you know what I'm saying? Out of nowhere, there, my man answered back, right, just like that. You feel me? And the this, Drake's this wasn't even all that. You know what I'm saying? That's just my opinion, bro. Ross killed him. End of discussion. Man, that was it. Mm. And he ain't fucking with Drake when it come to this beef shit. What did he say in his song that killed he, Drake? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Nah, nah hold he on. already had a question. question. Oh, okay. 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 Hey, I got my question in. Right handle handle your candle, yeah, okay, go. Well, first of all, like, Drake talking about, like, he handed this man all his number ones. He don't even got no number one, so that wasn't no, even wait, that jerk. That let wasn't it. even that Rick Ross, though. But nah, when I we, bring we, in my classes, he, put it in. Rick Ross don't even got no number one, in. so that wasn't even you know for him. Rayman like, met us because we about to go anyway, to the lyrics. Drake, Drake was like the, you know what I'm saying? The 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 hang around, you know what I'm saying? For the for the clout, for real type shit, bro. Like. You, you you know what I'm saying? I'm it the was, head maker, y'all depend on. Face, you feel me? Let type it, shit. Let it, it was it was good for it. your face. You feel me? Like you really wasn't like. And he and Drake even admitted that. So I don't even you know what I'm saying. It ain't even nothing he can say about that. He admitted what? That, that Ross was his favorite rapper. First, Hold on. Well, that part and Drake admitted that like he was the one. You know what I'm saying? Uh. He was the one in the crowd, you feel me, that, that wasn't, no, wasn't nobody really paying attention to, you know what I'm saying? And he got a little clout off them niggas, for real, off the state scheming, for real. And, like, and not not to mention, of course, he was with Wayne and them, but, like, them niggas wasn't really, like, doing it like that, you know what I'm saying? And Ross, Ross said, you man, you old bird, man, your whole career type shit, you know what I'm saying? And get Wayne, get Wayne some money, motherfucking get rap a lot some money. And uh, yeah, for real. Without them, you ain't really talking about nothing. And see me when I see you. And and Drake ain't said nothing like that. You feel me? Like he ain't really, yeah, popping off like that for real. Can I speak? And he got Can he I got speak? he getting punched on by Diddy and shit. Like come on, <laughs> like that. I'm cut, sorry. Cut it, bro. I mean, like, he's I not mean, listen. With this beef shit, <laughs> nah, bro. Hell no. I feel he where you come. I feel where you come from, Arco. But I ain't gonna lie. I don't think he, I don't think Ross really killed them. Now, the antics and all the, the argument and the BBL, the nose, the little, yeah, all the comedic all that. shit, that is fun. Big shot. But when I say, like, you looking first the of all, the nigga come in like, he said, you got I can never be nobody number one fan. Your first number one, I had to put it in your hand. <laughs> that wasn't not that wasn't just addressing just Ross. It was just addressing a whole bunch of them. But that was after Ross. Now that wasn't at Ross because Ross ain't got a number Ross. one. How is gonna be at that Ross and Ross, Ross ain't got a number that one? Was, hold on, but we can get to Ross. This nigga said, "Hold on, what did he say?" Where my phone? That, hold was, on. that was the ASAP Rocky. That was huh? the I thought that was future. future. 
Oh yeah, for sure. Let me see. Hold on. First of all, drop that a name. Cause God damn it, the first and the only it's too nigga. many of them. What's the this? A twenty v one? Hold on, wait. He, he, he said that. Is it a twenty v one? He said Ricky's name. He said K dot shit was weak. Yeah. I don't that. think he was listening. He dropped he hella wasn't. names. He Man. wasn't listening. He dropped hella names. He said that he fuck with only he one said fuck with Cole. Metro. Listen, he said fuck with Cole. Said that K dot shit was weak. He said Metro go play some mm-hmm. fucking drums. He said niggas handcuff bitches like Ricky. He said mm-hmm. he was named Drake. <laughs> Listen. That nigga he did uh, ASAP Rocky and that motherfucker. He did the weekend and that motherfucker. He, he went did. crazy yeah. on a lot of niggas and he name dropped all of them, bro. Now, for yeah, real. Yo, he was talking about about Rick Ross when he said, "I might take your latest girl and cover her like I'm Ricky." Facts. Can't believe he jumping in. This nigga's turning fifty. Facts. That was towards Rick Ross. Facts. Keep mm-hmm. going. That was t- Keep that going. What did he say after that? That was towards. He the- told them niggas. What did he say ass. after that? He told they ass. Every up. song he got on the chart came from Drizzy. But he just dragging and throwing motherfuckers in there like it's no, just, he it's not. Crazy. You this ain't even knowing what's going them. on. Man, he's been hating like, on me. This nigga, they, they no, all is no, literally no, clicking no. up. They all clicking up to, on my nigga yeah, Drake. Bro, what's this twenty v one? And then hold on, let's about. go back what? to Drake's. Let's go back to this shit. Right? He said everyone. This nigga only got three three now, hits on the top ten. Rick, I'm on the billboard right now. Rick Ross only got three hits on the top ten. He don't got no number ones. If y'all some all real three hop- of these numbers, all these top ten got who on it? If y'all some real hip hop heads, y'all know Drake been throwing shots at these niggas subliminally throughout it's his music the whole damn time. What are y'all talking about? This nigga been throwing shit. He is Scorpio Hold like on. man. We this petty. nigga been putting man. all we these pet. niggas on the billboard. This we nigga petty. been feeding all these niggas. He this does nigga shit been giving the all scenes. these niggas their biggest try songs. He take your girl to his concert. Try to fuck your bitch. Man, I'm a Scorpio. That nigga, we petty. We are now petty we it, cougar. Now we bringing that type but shit listen, up. At the same time, you he, know what? Now we you bringing know that type shit up Wait, when we talking about though. music or real hip hop. You know the thing about being petty, sis. Somebody has to initiate something for you to become petty. Because we don't see them niggas doing this shit, that don't mean behind the closed door. Them niggas is, come on, bro. Drake be a, Drake has. Drake turned future up. I, Let's I, be honest. I Let's love, be honest. This, man, I'm going to be honest about Drake, what? y'all. I love Drake. Drake. I used to. I used to now your hit, first what? number one. I had to put it in your hands. Cut Tony it out. Montana. Ooh. I can't cut deny out, that. Bro. I can't deny that he has. But let me say something about Drake. I still, I, I'm still a fan of old Drake. My favorite album is Take Care. I know, yeah, Take Care. That was That's my hard, favorite that was one. one That's my one. favorite That's one. one. I love his pimp shit. I didn't like his personality. And like I said, we both Scorpios. But mm. I'm telling you, Drake is calculated. I'm t- and I really feel like Drake gets away with a lot of stuff because he this has. Sound like a damn video mm. game, I swear. The J word? Yep. Yeah, it's, it's I've done a deep dive into into Drake. Listen, you know what I will say about he Drake. He gets a, away with a lot. Want me to tell you what I will say about yeah. Drake? Because as much as I love the the run that Drake has been on, and as much as I love um, the shit that Drake has done, Drake is most definitely <laughs> finessing the culture, bro. Yes, he is. <clears throat> He'll change up his accent on you. This right here, no cap, this is really the best acting job I've mm. ever seen in my life. <laughs> the grassy spiders. Boy, y'all forgot he did, he did blackface. Y'all, this nigga y'all, has been, I mean, because... Y'all let him skate. I see old footage of Drake where he's sitting there uh, just to hear how he articulate himself. Dude ain't really... We know he ain't like that. We know he ain't. Like I that. seen the Canadian version when he was in Degrassi, Canadian MTV. Look it up on YouTube. They, that nigga had a pool. <laughs> so, <laughs> can that I? That nigga don't know. So, can I? On my my opinion on Drake, right? To me, Drake is one of my favorite artists. Yeah. Artists, because I know how to. A lot of people don't know how to separate entertainment. From real life, yeah, artistry. So I acknowledge the the skill and the talent that he has mm-hmm. as an artist because he's versatile. He can he can talk his shit. He can give you some street shit, even though he's not from there. 
Mm-hmm. He can put them words together. How you like, boy? He, boy, that was gangster. Yeah, when you got ghost. Yeah, I'm about to say. Then like he too, can. Like... Then, then you had. Then he got some club bangers. He got shit that pop. It's just he. He got all type of music that you could play on any type of level, and it's timeless. Yeah, yeah when you got. So why like fuck I what? Said. You got ghost Regard, writers. I mean, what artist hasn't used a ghost writer? We can't. We can't say. I ain't never used no ghost writer. You ain't mainstream neither. Okay, but she is. ain't nobody. Ain't nobody That's coming an to you willing to, to me because I didn't make it to mainstream. I'm not saying that's an insult it's, to me. It's an insult to me be. as a female rapper because niggas thought because what I was rapping, they thought another nigga made it or wrote it for me. It that's should be insult. The nigga, reason I why I say no, that because I'm dope. The hey. reason why I say I'm that is because dope. it's a hey. lot of mainstream but artists who who set, established no, themselves who later then used where they give you an idea, but not when they giving you. Bars and shit, Quentin Miller. No, that's called no. It's called reference tracks when they give you an idea of the song, well, or that, a hook of the song, or the beat, and you go off of it. That's any but artist, then. No, no, that's any artist. Not, it's not. No, that, I disagree a, because I can sit here. I sit music. here with these guys, and we sit here and we come up with a bar, and not and and it, you, you hear the next shit. Y'all, you had what a ghostwriter. You, you have a ghostwriter. That's an lie. insult to not, your artist. It's not necessarily a hey. ghostwriter, but it's. I use I write and, a lot of his shit. You do? Mm-hmm. Well, stop fucking saying this. <laughs> I'm about to say. This is and too then, serious and, of and a topic. Then, hey, hold on. Fuck that. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> this is too serious of a topic right. for you to be saying right. that. Right. 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 Hey, let's I'm start there. Hey, I barely write I'm, my shit. I'm so joking. how the fuck you gonna write my shit? I'm hey, joking. I barely I'm be writing that. I know. I hey, nah, this was, you know. You, Ain't you no know, nigga chill. ever. Hey, right now, shit. chill. <laughs> chill on that shit. Hey, this is my disclaimer, nigga. Fuck that. Ain't nobody ever wrote my shit. Don't nobody write my shit either. I wrote that shit in front of people. Red, shout out to my old producer, Red. I wrote that shit. But also, too, Drizzy also steals. I mean, well, uh, the weekend. Let's use him as an example. That's why the weekend don't mess with him because a lot of that album, Take Care, was a lot of songs that that the weekend was doing in the studio because the weekend was supposed to be with OVO music allegedly. He was under. He was with him. Yeah, and a lot of those songs. Go back and look at the credits. It comes from the weekend. You'll see his name, loving the crew. So Girl now love. we mad about some shit 10 years ago when we still dissing about it. We mad about loving the crew. I'm, we I, mad. We still mad. It's 2024. We still mad about this. Fuck that future. I'm, Come on. <laughs> Let's go, Metro. <laughs> Let's get this nigga. Hey. Man, y'all tripping around this. All right. So bed. I love we're it. Not, we're not going <laughs> to spend too much time on this topic. We're going to go it. ahead and go to something different. So are y'all familiar with Gerard Carmichael? Mm-mm. Yeah, the comedian dude. Yeah. So, you know, a couple years ago, he came out as gay. Yeah. yeah. Are you familiar with that? That should be crazy, don't it? <laughs> it just never ceases to amaze me. So, so <laughs> this burger has ketchup on it. Hey, no, <laughs> hey, no, fuck that. Hey, this no burger. Diddy. Hey, listen, no, no listen, bruh. This burger has mosquitoes in it. <laughs> hey, bro, y'all got hey. to I got to chill, bro. <laughs> Damn. So, listen. He got a reality show on HBO Max, right? Look at this shot this nigga gave me, bro. Yeah, man. I'm sorry. I can't even move. This huh, got huh. You got to sip it from... You uh-huh. got to do... You gotta, they got I got to do one of them. Don't worry about it. Hold on. I got you. They got ADHD. You about to drink your shit? Nah, what's up, bro? Hold up. What's up? I was going to get... Nah. nah. You all right? Okay. You all right? <laughs> <laughs> what well, do though? You cool? All right, about? so listen. He got a reality show on HBO Max, right? Right. And on this reality show, he called Tyler, the creator, over to his, I don't know if it's his apartment or his house or something like that. Hey, bro, we got to stop talking about this type shit, bro. Why? He is a weirdo. This whole episode is LGBTQ. Never mind. That's all right. Contrary, we do we 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 don't have no ill feelings towards the LGBTQAI plus community. He learning. Come on, give 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 give, give, we fucking give it up for bro. (laughs) (laughs) Way better than what you said last week. (laughs) Yeah, bro, it's tripping last week, but um, um. (laughs) Did y'all hear what I said? The LG. But listen, bro, what I'm trying to tell you is you got to learn how to work this algorithm, my brother. 
Gotta learn how to work this algorithm. The A E I O U. I'm saying this in there. <laughs> so listen. <laughs> so check this out though. So, so we they sitting there at this table, and he like he asked Tyler like, you know what I called you over here for? And Tyler like, no what? Like he playing this real nonchalant role, and he like. Well, you know, like I haven't talked to you since I sent you that text message or whatever. He was like, what text message? Like he playing him cock. He like, you know, the one where I told you, like, I had feelings for you and all this and that. Watching this shit was so pathetic, man, for, for more than one reason. <laughs> but have you ever been in, situ- in a situation where you had to curve somebody you, you wouldn't really feeling like that? How do you, sh- as a man... Because females is normally the ones that get approached. You feel me? But as a man, how do you shoot somebody down? I'm not speaking. I mean, and I seen that because it's like, damn, one of these dudes is playing the girl role. Like, and it just happened to be Gerard Carmichael. Like, and you can see, you can see uh, Tyler Creator just like blowing him off. He's like, you know what you said? You know what you said to me? He's like. Yeah, I told you some like super regular shit. Are you, like, <laughs> are you talking about like not some super uh, regular? Shit, <laughs> he, me, he was like what? curving this nigga, and I'm like, this shit is sad, man. Mm. Are you talking about like far as a woman and they having a girl or a man coming? Come up on, from- man. I, why would I be asking yeah, these don't. niggas? <laughs> that's real shit. It's 2024. It Y'all probably went through that before. Let me tell I went through oh, that before. Oh, you got before. a story to tell? I ain't got no I've stories to tell. I've been through that before. <laughs> <laughs> I've been through that before. All right, but all right, no. So well, both seriously, sexes. have sure you ever been in a situation where you had to shoot a female down? Of course. How did it feel being in that position? Like, I mean, this is like, thanks for the compliment. You know what I mean? But I'm good, you know? I like, I don't got no problem with saying I'm good. You feel me? Like... It's just, thank you. You feel me? He's and walked off on the bitch. Like, like, <laughs> thank you. Like, that's it. Like, thanks, but no thanks. I had, okay, so my first um, situation, I was actually with a female. And I was hit on. By, <laughs> like, this nigga had nuts. <laughs> oh shit! No home, <laughs> no Diddy, oh, <laughs> no Diddy, no for real though. So I'm at Cold Stone, right? <laughs> the I'm, ice cream place. I'm at the ice cream. Ain't spot. that bad? Damn, <laughs> this is another. That's the, 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 the iron is. So this motherfucker said he had a diddler. <laughs> for real, listen. So I'm at the I'm at Cold Stone. This is like 2014, some shit like that, whatever. And I'm with my lady friend. So we getting some ice cream, and dude, right? He back there, he like, so what would you like? And it was this fuzz brown batter shit, right? So I'm into that. So I'm telling him, and he was like, do you want any nuts? (laughs) 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 So the way, so the way, so you know at Cold Stone how they, so you know at at Cold Stone how they putting the shit together, right? I used to work at Cold Stone. So shorty, so shorty, I'm, I'm, like taller than it, so she stay up so I'm saying the high we stand and she leaning up against me or whatever in the way he like <laughs> I used to like a ghost. And so when he up. asked me that shit and I'm like I said now she looked up at me. I said, did he just I said, man, meet me in the car. I said, don't put no damn nuts in my shit. <laughs> like, like, I felt so uncomfortable. I didn't know how to handle that. Uh, so I had to just remove myself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I had never been hit. And I'm like, and it's obvious that this woman. I'm like, what the fuck? It's funny you asked that question, though, real, uh, real quick. I was watching uh, uh, Cam Newton podcast. Uh, and, uh he was interviewing Jason Lee, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And he asked the, uh, the question to him. He was like, uh, how does a straight interact with, you know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> and Jason Lee was like, pretty much, you know what I'm saying? You just 
interact with them like you do with your regular niggas. Cause some of them might be gay. You feel yeah, me? Like that, type that shit. Like, when I that's see a that. fact. I was like, damn, bro. Like some niggas took it there, but yeah. Some niggas I grew up with. <laughs> yeah. They surprised but, me a couple uh, years damn. down the road. I've been like, surprised too. They like I was Tyson. surprised too. My two, <laughs> my two best quit. friends. <laughs> my two best friends are lesbians. Word. But no. <laughs> the way Jason Lee was saying it, it felt like like the way Jason Lee said it, like everybody's gay. No, nah, like, nah. Everybody see that's the that same shit Turk said. Mm. I don't it's that like same no. shit Turk said. <laughs> the way that Jason Lee is crazy. Is, he's trying to make it seem like every ten men out the group are there. To some, some, like, two of them, mm. three of them gonna be gay. No, no, Jason Lee, that's cat. Stop that. Stop trying to sh- stop trying to share your fruity loops. I'm a firm of, I'm a firm of believer in this, and the only reason <laughs> after I, this we gonna go on because respect because it's Jago disengaged. He usually do this when we oh, get stop that Yego. But me being like being in prison, oh right, my lord! A lot of people Yego. try to find reasons to justify indulging in mm-hmm. uh, homosexual activity. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I'm a firm of believer in it. It, it took the right situation. For the comp for you to be able to do what has already been in you. You say what? Hold on, what? So people if you gay, you already gay. It just okay. takes the opportunity for yeah, you. Yeah, because a lot of yourself. people a lot of people are put up facades. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They they marry this woman or they've been with this woman, but all the while in their mind they've been so it was already in their mind. That's, that's what I'm saying. You wouldn't be so the, so, 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 so the moment, <laughs> so the moment that, so the moment that you were comfortable enough to indulge in yeah. the act, Whether you it had came to hide out it or not. It was still you already. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It was already in you. Yeah. So it ain't no. Oh, I just be. I just found this. I was no, born this way, it was just. So. A, it, you was just waiting for the right time <laughs> to express what was already in you. <laughs> oh my goodness! Hey, man, no. hey. All right, so, all right, so we about to go ahead and escape this topic. We about to go. I'm about to play a video that Diego posted in the group, man. Hell no, nah, y'all are hilarious. Yeah, it's a good part, man. It's a good one. That Whitney Houston dies the same way that Jimi Hendrix dies. In a tub in a hotel, allegedly from drugs. And we know why Jimi yeah. Hendrix was murdered, the greatest guitarist of all time, because Jimi Hendrix wanna wanted to finance the theories. Black Panther Party, but he didn't know that his agent, his manager, was a MI6 British intelligence agent. And Prince was murdered because Prince didn't want to sell his unpublished music. And Michael Jackson was murdered because he didn't want to sell the Beatles catalog back to Sony Records. R. Kelly went to jail because Sony Records wanted his catalog. R. Kelly is not in jail for pedophilia, although that's wrong and he should be, but that ain't why he did. Folks, Ben knew he was doing what he was doing. R. Kelly didn't go to jail till R. Kelly start questioning control of his masters. Bill Cosby goes to jail Mm -hmm. because the second largest oil company in the world wanted to drill under his home in Massachusetts and he wouldn't let them. And the reason they brought up the lawsuit with the ugly old women is to financially bankrupt Bill Cosby so he got to sell the house and the oil company gets the oil. So listen, before y'all get started. Oh my God. Before y'all get started. That's a conspiracy. That's that's Dr. Umar Johnson. Mm-hmm. I fuck with dude. This and same hold on, hold on, hold on. And this is, too. this is where I drop my disclaimer. <laughs> the audio that was played does not reflect anybody from this podcast opinion. That is Dr. Umar Johnson's opinion <laughs> and Dr. Umar Johnson's opinion only. Now, this is the part where we insert our own opinions into this conversation, okay? And everybody is held accountable for their own opinion. Respectfully. Let's go. I want my $15. <laughs> Damn, doctor. You gave him some money, yeah? That was some years ago for you that school. You ain't seen a book. <laughs> you that ain't seen a ruler. That school ain't, <laughs> ain't been seen, built. You ain't seen a number two or a mechanical pencil. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure it was him or was it some scam shit? You know, no, I, it, I, no, I, it was I, him I, running the scam shit. I was just asking. Facts. I was just asking. <laughs> I had to ask. I had to say. I sent money to Tyreek Nasheed. Shout out to FBA. I'm a hustler, baby. I fuck with Ken. And he got that museum <laughs> together. I fuck but with Dr. Ken. Uma, I want my fifteen dollars for that for that all boys school. Mm. <laughs> 
Talking the first time I was descending the first of Frederick Douglass. <laughs> my ass. All right, so now that you done told them that you want to get your money out of this nigga, what do you think about the, what he said? Hey, hey, man, round of applause to Yago for that conspiracy theory, boy. Now that is how you do this shit. I don't know, man. Take no, no shots intended. Take no, no shots intended. What month? Hold on, wait. What month are we in? Like April? This is April, April. G. When is some podcast supposed to come out in February? Come on, Never man. Mind. We ain't doing right. something. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's not fucking what, doing that. <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen. <laughs> uh, Petty. What's up, dude? Um, what you think? Umar Johnson. <laughs> Umar Johnson. Umar. 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 I'm a descendant. Umar. We need to protect Umar, and this is my opinion. Umar. We need to protect Umar Johnson at all costs because this man knows something. So. I'm going to say the first time I, I was even aware of this black man was on Tyreek's uh, Hidden Colors documentary. Um, yeah, that was dope. Mm-hmm. That's dope. That was dope. It's like four or five of those yep. uh, documentaries or whatever. Them. Shout yeah. out. So if, you, if anybody hasn't paid any attention to Tyreek's uh, documentaries, please go and check out the Hidden Colors documentaries, one, two, three, and four. I think it's five. I'm yeah. not sure. But yes. it's very informa- it's very uh, informative, you know what I'm saying? And I think you will enjoy it. Needless to say, I'm not surprised by anything that that man said because I do believe that it is mon- it's all about money. Mm-hmm. And if they cannot control, if they're not going to leave us, black people, in like any this. position to where we can control or really, like... Um, Run some shit. So wherever, if they feel the need that they need to step in, or if he has too much control, like Michael Jackson, come on, Michael Jackson owning the Beatles catalog. Mm -hmm. Do you know how much money that the Beatles catalog is worth? I can see why they killed him behind that type of money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would... Honestly speaking, look, listen, since we're talking about that, so listen, I wouldn't be surprised if something to, happened to listen, Jay-Z. I just want to let y'all know, we down to our last nine, so everybody need to get their thoughts out. So we Okay, can... I'm going to get. I'm gonna say this in the other way. I wouldn't be surprised if something happened to Jay-Z, because why? Guess whose masters he owned? Everybody. Everybody's. And princess. And old owned, girl. Come on. Y'all ain't so hip to the psychic. You they hip not to the psychic? Sloan. You hip to Sloan? Come on. I've been you, watching you her. Sloan? They not gonna let a motherfucker run. They, they not gonna it. let you own that. Come on, man. They not gonna let you own. You too see much what she said about Diddy and was what happened to Diddy. Everything is coming to pass. Oh, They're not gonna let you own too much of this, bro. Oh, so yeah. the demise is coming to the people who think they. If you not gonna let them in, or if you don't give, they're gonna. And this is the fall. So I'm not surprised by what the man said. They said it's gonna take Jay Z's fall 10, 10 years. And that's why I, I said won't be surprised because that nigga artists, is deep. New artists, be careful. Don't sell your soul. Hey, free Bad young ways. boy. Oh. That part. How the fuck you on What's house arrest with, uh, and you still get arrested? Hey. He's been on house arrest since 2020. How you on house arrest and you still hey. get house arrested? I think he is the longest running convict who has been on house arrest. That you know what I think? Utah. I think he is fucking cooked. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was it. Boiled lobster. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Y'all hear about uh, him free, and Finesse two YB. times. Yeah, facts. He been Have, going hey, back and forth. You ain't nah, little top. bitch. I went here about no mental health. <laughs> yeah, on everything. <laughs> on everything. Def- definitely. I like, I like his little dead head ass. I wish he didn't have herpes. I know. That's why but, you said. That's ooh. why I brought him up before we got yeah. up out of here. Dang. I like free. the way he said little free, bitch. Bro. I like the way he talked. The nigga just went to jail for fraud. Mm. Fraud, weapons, all type. What else he go to jail for, Chuck? Never mind, I think I got the facts. Hey, but y'all, man, y'all gonna be getting into more of the uh, female rap, too, because... Uh, I'm all the way in female rap. That shit with uh, JT and Glow, Glow and all them. I hey, think I talked about that. Glorilla. Have you heard Glorilla's... With JT, have, have Miami, heard? And, Salt, and, and, and Santana all Sauce? Get tap uh, Sauce in. Santana or whatever? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I've, I've, been, I've, been, I've been tapping in with that. Have y'all heard Glorilla's album? I haven't. I haven't. I haven't. She been doing a hell of a press run. Glorilla, the hardest female in a long oh. time. 
I'm talking yeah. about hardest. I like like hardest bar for Doja bar. Kiri Man, cut Kiri. the fuck out. Don't bring Doja Cat your Kiri ass. Kiri hardest Kiri. bar for bar as a rapper. She's pop, bro. I'm talking about as a rapper. Doja. She's nah, pop. Doja lyrical though. Man, I'm talking about as She's a rapper. Pop. Bar for bar. I think Doja ain't nobody better. harder. I ain't saying oh, better, or hotter, none of that. I'm not, just saying Glorilla the like hardest. Not, no. Glorilla the hardest. She can go hard on mm. trap trap records. She say Kiri on Kiri. You have no. you heard her album? I've heard songs that I heard. Please listen to the yo. whole album. Please I, listen I to the whole the, album, and then you are gonna see why I'm saying what I'm saying. Please. I like Glow that's, though. That's all I'm gonna say. I like Glow though, but I ain't gonna lie. Like nah. Now, when it comes to Doja, Doja is more mainstream. She's more pop. She know how to. Yeah. That's why I said she's flip pop. Her you can't. You can't. I the Algorithm Hills. No the Algorithm Hills. When I first heard that it, what I'm about. I didn't even know it was her because <laughs> I thought it was a white girl. That Algorithm Hills. I did not know that was Doja Cat. Damn, as we cook like that. Because she switched up her voice throughout the songs. But whatever. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. And as long as I would love. <laughs> All I'm keep saying. I know. I know, I yeah, know. we gotta wrap it up. I gotta go to work in the morning. Brandy back another little near my And listen, hey, all no, I'm listen. gonna say. Hey, Brandy made this rule, nigga. Hour and a half, gang. I, I, I wanna hey, make this. I wanna say, make this we've note, been, though. Everybody go listen to Glorilla album time. and come back and tell me I ain't wrong about my opinion. I listen to it. I just wanna say this is the first time since I'll, I've been out mm -hmm. and uh, that I've been on Pod with Queen. This is our first. Yeah. Pot, so shit hit different when Brandy in the building, don't I? I mean, and it's very, very enjoyable. Get a little nervous a little niggas. bit. Nah, I ain't nervous. No, no, I don't make nobody I am. nervous. I ain't nervous. I am. I'm used to lying this in, in Tigers and Rhymes. Yeah, this was on fun. the YouTube side, but you know, <laughs> different. It's different. You Cut different. It hit different. Curing on curing. Hey, hey, uh, Black, what you got going on, bro? Talk to me. Oh, uh, man, I ain't got nothing, man. I'm just trying to stay sane. It's a lot of, um, I'm just going to say the devil is working, man. God is blessing, but the devil is working, man. And everything that's been blessed and and and, and uh, bestowed upon me, man, I'm just trying to fight to keep it intact. You know what I'm saying? So I'm enjoying the blessing. I'm trying to keep the blessing and learn from it and, and try and level up. So with that being said, um, Pray for me. And, Amen. You know. I say. What more can you ask for? What yeah. more can I say? It's on me. Yeah, that's how it usually go. All right, bet. Look, check this out. Well, here, here it goes. Check this out. <laughs> Pattern of unlawful activity. Procuring or attempting to procure drugs. Last prescription. Identity fraud. Forgery. Possession of other controls. Other controlled substances, possession of dangerous weapon by a restricted person. Those is young boys' charges. I ain't got shit going on with me, you know. <laughs> I ain't got shit going on with me, but I just had to say that. That's that nigga's charges. He's going to fuck down. I'm sorry. Free my nigga Kentrell. What you got going on, bro? I ain't got Woo. shit going on. Whole lot of network. That's about it. I, I'm going to be honest. It's two things I'm trying to get to. They got this uh this independent wrestling um organization that me and Yago been talking about. We've been trying to go check out the XVW. And I need to get to one of these networking chill events. They throw them every week on Monday. Shout out to my nigga Pete Dash. I want to get my people be on Monday. dusty. Hmm. I want to get one of my people dusty. Oh no, man! But shout out to Dusty. Shout out to Cody. Sh shout out to Dustin. Shout out to shout out to all them man. Yeah, come about. legacy. Um, the story what the continues. What is wrong with y'all? What? Oh, my Don't bad. Cool, bro. Nah, bro. Now, bro. Now you know it's day one shit. I got you, you Oos. Um, I ain't got shit going on though. What size you want? What about you, bro? What size you want? Not Cody. Man. Another day in the neighborhood. The bloodline. Nah, oh, what? 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 Nothing. It's, it's okay. It's an inside thing. These niggas throwing up gang signs while I'm trying to just get through the day, man. Right, go ahead, crazy. man. Talk, talk your shit, man. <laughs> you know. Get through it. Go <laughs> ahead, uh, Marco. Black Jesus. Just keep on doing my one-two thing, man. Try not to get blown up in the backyard. You know. What I'm <laughs> 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 oh shit. Keep my house safe. You feel me? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> 
But that's pretty much it, man. I hope all is well, man. God bless y'all. All right. I ain't trying to do shit, but make sure this boy go to prom next Saturday. He looking spliffy. You know, it looked like he about to have this like like little nice little jacket. Uh, they doing black and gold and shit, and he got this goddamn jacket that looked like some Migo shit. Oh, shit. He didn't get the joke when I rubbed on it because it was velvet. I said, oh, "What is that velvet?" Aha. Uh-huh. I said two more uh-huh. times. I said, "Aha." Uh-huh. Aha. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> and he just kept looking at me. Man, get your punk ass upstairs. So I just want to make sure this boy go out to uh prom. And I'm going out the same night. I'm going to go see Cat Williams. That's it. I'm done. I love y'all. I'm free now. I told y'all, niggas. I'm free. I told you. Talk to me, Chuck. What you got going on, bro? Um, I got got a couple little side jobs coming up. And uh, I want to let you guys know that the football coaches are calling. So if we're going to do some extra shows, we're going to get rolling on them ASAP. Mm-hmm. Got Everybody <laughs> Eats coming up. We started on some Everybody Knows Sports. Going to have to cover the playoffs before it gets going too much. But I can't believe they just lost. Yeah, but we still got a chance. So, Diarco, your bowls the win tonight. We're going to have to have a little get-together because the, the Heat just lost. So, if, if you guys win, you guys got to get through us, and we have to play the winner of your game to get in. All right, Chuck. So, we show might have how, a little show you how we do it on the west side. <laughs> <laughs> you and your girl come through, man. Nigga, get your ass beat. Meet my dog. <laughs> and y'all got me fucked up. Andre Drummond. 25 rebounds. <laughs> on the ass. 22 points. 22, 22 points. You feel me? Talk your shit, Arco. Shit. They Talk your shit. All about that. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm trying to get some spades going. Like, <laughs> this weekend. You know what I mean? Oh. Oh, and then also, I forgot. What, it's up, the sure. fight, the fight, 420. Yeah. Ryan Garcia and uh, uh, Devin Haney. Oh yeah, that's Ooh, gonna, that's gonna oh, be yeah. a good one. Who you who you going for? Get your of popcorn course, ready. Haney. Of course, I ain't gonna lie, Garcia gonna get him around for his I'm money. Trying to, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to bet. I'm trying out. to. I'm gonna bet against him on uh, 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 DraftKings. Let's put ten on it. Yeah. Some yeah. About, just maybe fifteen. Just, just in case. case. I don't make some <laughs> home to none. Let me make some money. I'll fight. All right, now, y'all. Baby. Listen. Great pie. Yeah, All right. man. Thanks for coming back, Brandy. Love Again. y'all. Chuck. Pie Squad. Throw it I up. Wanna say one thing. Throw it up. Throw it up. Before we get out of here, I want to give out a big shout out to our sponsors, Kiara Wine and Black Billionaire. Be on the lookout for Everybody Knows Sports. Real niggas watch wrestling. Everybody eats. Now nah, I mean? Shoot the fade with Yego. Now nah, I mean? Yeah. Whole lot of, sh- whole lot of lot network shit. Whole lot of network. Whole lot of, whole lot of. Whole lot of network. So, um, everybody has an opinion. Mm-hmm. Everybody has an asshole. Yeah. Uh-huh. And everybody has a podcast. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Just, just, not, just not, not this podcast. podcast. Just not this podcast. Yeah. He, he, he you fucked, already know. Hold on, man. We got to do that over. He fucked it up oh, with the extra damn, shit. Dude. Yeah, bro. Listen. <laughs> he that one nigga that do the extra spin Whoa. and slide out on yeah. the ass. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Whoa. so listen. Everybody has an opinion. Yep. Everybody has an asshole. Back. And everybody has a podcast. Just, just not, not this podcast. podcast. There we go. This was Everybody Has One. And we about to leave out with a. With a family friend, god damn it, it's, it's Big Thrizzy, and we about to leave out with Cut Him Off, man. Let's go. Okay. Mm. Ooh. Don't look at me like that. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. You too. Oh, yeah. Fuck you. You in the back. Don't forget about you. Fuck you too. You all over there. Don't forget about you. Oh, yeah. Fuck you. Cut him off. Cut em. They cannot be trusted. Fuck them all. Somebody come and get their mans before I run them off And I finally feel like my circle isn't so crowded, yeah I finally feel what I do, cut them off, Hey, They cannot be trusted, not at all Somebody tell them duck and move before I let one off And I finally feel like my circle isn't Ay. so crowded, yeah I've been on my shit lately, notice I ain't fucking with y'all You ain't fooling me with that fabric, I'm cut way different than y'all And your brother's gonna change on you, they be quick to cuff on your bra Don't trust these bitches at all, that's why I cut them all off See, I don't need that, left Miami County light and told them I'ma be back Never looking back, just like Josiah, I'm a brat You was all up in my face like we were straight, but you was lean back, lying
nothing like your tech. Tell me how my dick tastes. I got love for my family who stay down with me. No, when I got it, you got it. Just stick around with me. I ain't gotta be fake like all these rappers that's around this bitch. They can talk big game, but when it come down to it, they all gon' snitch. So what I do? Cut them off. They cannot be trusted. Fuck them all. Somebody come and get their mans before I run them off. And I finally feel like my circle isn't so crowded. Yeah, I finally feel what I do. Cut them off. Hey, they cannot be trusted. Not at all. Somebody tell them duck and move before I let one off. And I finally feel like my circle isn't so crowded. Yeah, my whole city got love for me. You already know. I hold it down for my people until the day I go. I still got love for my family back in the double O. All right, man. Shout out to Drizzy, Justin, Beaver Lake. Hey, man. Somebody, anybody, somebody, anybody, everybody. Tell them when we gonna see him in a minute. In boy. a minute, boy. In a minute, boy. Take it easy.